Hello, today I have a long formal dress and uh, it has full lining inside. Uh, something wrong at the slit and uh, it's a uh, evening dress so they make this one a little bit fancy. So we need to find a way to fix this. Okay, this is the outside. It's like this. And and this is the inside lining. It's made by satin fabric. And the fabric is already damaged here, this side. And then this side, the fabric are uh, not very good too. You can see through here. Yeah. Uh, this is knit interfacing iron-on fabric. It's thin, it's soft, but it's very strong so I usually use this one for mending and um, I like this one because it's soft and thin so uh, we cannot see the difference from the outside after I put this one on the fabric so and now I cut four pieces and I want to put it to where I think it's necessary Okay, the along here to cover this one. Okay. They cut it straight. St Straight from here and then out here. You can see the fabric is nearly tear along here. So this is the lining, and I want to cover this line. Yeah. Okay, and. This is the line from the top to come down here. So I put a little bit here already and here and other sides I do I will do the same. Okay, this side is good at this corner but it doesn't look good here. So I fit this one first and then this size the stitching undone here. So I try to put it back to the original. It's from here to here and then stop somewhere here. So now it's not difficult. I try to put it back together. That's all. And at the end here we can open from the end here. And then we get in and to do the job. I, my hand here. I start with this corner first. With this one, I just sew it a little bit in and a little bit in that so, and then I put my stitching a little bit closer to make it stronger. Okay, I check to see if it looks good. Okay, I make it a little bit curved now to cover that hole, but uh, it's, it, it's still okay, so I do again to make sure it stays stronger. And I start to do the lining first. And this one connect to this one, and then the stitching stop somehow here. Okay, put together, and then yeah. 
sew one part is done the outside the stitching and done from here I just sew from here down here but when I sew it I put everything go to this side so the two pieces go together only okay but when I sew it I have to put the all line together and then this side the same the all mark from here to here and here so now we put this line and this line together that's all okay now the line and inside here so a little bit hard to do so we do step by step turn this one out don't sew the lining everything I put away so now I do from the top yeah okay the all line and all line together and then I can have a look from inside here you can see my pink the pink one and the pink one I put together here and then I keep it you can pin it or you can use the finger to keep it and then run from the top to here but we have to do it in a straight line and I sew on the interfacing to make it strong so now I turn it to outside to check yeah it look very good okay yeah uh, if you make sure everything good we can backward forward on here one more time to make it strong now the outside is now the outside is already so we do the inside and the inside it's easier we just sew from the top to meet this point together that's all yeah two chon from here left over this left over i put them together here And then try to mat two corner together from here you can see one corner here one corner here put them together and then try to get to that corner yeah and backward forward and now I will check it outside and inside you can see the corner look very nice and uh, it is stronger now this is cool now we because we have the interface and inside for this side and this side and the lining as well but with knit interfacing the advantage is after you fusing it the outside you see nothing here if we use another thicker interfacing i worry we can see the mark somewhere here okay i finished here and the outside look very good now and this is the inside so it look good too okay thank you very much for your watching uh please subscribe like and share my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon to get my new video from my job every day Thank you very, very much for your watching.